Hey, it's Monday. I think it's the 14th of uh, March. I'm not sure anymore. I've lost the plot. And I'm uh, just getting ready to start work. I am um, shattered. Jennifer did it again uh, every two hours in the night, which means I haven't slept properly. And it's giving me headaches now because I'm just not getting enough sleep. Um, I don't know what to do. Any, any tips? Because she just won't stay in her room. And frankly, it's killing me. Ooh. Anyway, I better get myself uh, set up. See how long I can stay awake for. See you later. Hey guys, I'm afraid it's Monday night and I'm in bed. You see that sort of blue lipstick on? It's uh, coming off now. It's one I bought to play with with Jennifer. It's nice. Um, yeah, I'm so tired. I was thinking headache again. Jennifer's in her room asleep and I'm in the master bedroom. And uh, I'm going to bed early. Paul's downstairs watching TV. I'm so tired. Welcome to the office tomorrow get my new laptop. But my eyes are stinging and I feel terrible. But uh, I started reading The Couple Next Door, which one of the girls at work recommended. I'm enjoying it, it's really good. Yeah. I'm over halfway through it already. It's a good book like that, I will read very quickly. So I am going to put my phone on charge uh, so I get woken up for work in the morning and I'm going to get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. I'm really hopeful that you'll sleep all night, but I can't guarantee it. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, it is Tuesday. Whatever the date is, I have no idea. Let me have a look. 15th of March, I should know that really. It's Paul's payday today. <laughs> um, I'm trying to ring the surgery because I've still got a sinus headache. Obviously it's busy, so it could be some time. Um, today I've got to go into the office to uh, pick up my new laptop, so it was going to be a day of not doing much actually at work, so I'm just going to get everything set up and crack on, and I will see you when I finish work, because I've got an order to pack. Back from the office, I've got my new laptop, it's okay. It's a laptop, it's not very exciting, is it? let's be honest, it's for work. Um, I had it for ages because uh, it hadn't migrated over to the new system, so it has now. And the thing is, is because I was originally supposed to go in the afternoon, but I had to rearrange because, obviously, picking up Jennifer uh, and stuff like that, I've got other things I've got to do in the afternoon. So, yes, I'm here, I'm set up, I'm just uh, going to do a few emails now before I finish because I haven't got long. I've got to go and pick up some antibiotics from the doctors and the chemist for my sinus headaches. So it looks like it's sinusitis and um, then I've got to do a uh, what else have I got to do um, pop, pop to the shop in the library and then I've got a package to post which you'll see when I go do it in a bit out in the garden packing up my one sale which is a camera and my a book that I'm sending to Michelle who's a friend of mine anyway uh, it's a duplicate Jack the Ripper book which I'm sending to my friend Michelle just sitting out in the garden, it's quite nice out here, it's a bit chilly but it's nice, the sun's out and it's not too cold but I've got my coat on so it's not a problem, like I said I've got to go and get my medication later, my antibiotics, I've got to pop to the shop to drop that and that off the parcels and pick up Jen, so yeah all good, it's nice out here actually, anyway I better crack on and get this lot done, I'll see you afterwards but yeah oh, it's quite nice out here. See if Jen wants to come out for a bit afterwards rather than I've got my eyes closed, I know. Um sitting inside watching telly. It's quite nice. <laughs> right, it's Wednesday afternoon. And I'm sitting here with Jennifer watching telly. Say hello. Uh, I didn't work today because my sinusitis was really bad. Don't touch, don't touch. Leave that alone. Leave it alone, Jen. Ooh, kids. Um yeah, so feeling really poorly with my head so there's not a lot going to be happening today that's just jennifer's nose Bye. and her hat it's got really wet it's already dry it's dry now yeah when they were playing outside at nursery weren't you in the rain <laughs> anyway i might see you in a bit but i might not so don't worry i'm okay okay so i'm going to bed well i'm gonna be reading i've finished daisy jones and the six enjoyed that book it's good 
I'm now reading The Ghost Tree and I've nearly finished that as well because I've been feeling ill and to be fair, Jennifer fell asleep this afternoon so when she fell asleep I went uh, uh, come up here uh, to lie down and have a read and we had some food and she's gone to bed for now she's in her room and I'm up in here in the master room Paul's around somewhere doing something I'm probably watching telly but I'm feeling a bit sick. I think it's a side effect of the amoxicillin. Well, it's sickness and diarrhea. I haven't vomited. Um, I won't, I'm never sick, I never throw up. Very, very rare if I throw up, but uh, the other end can go and I feel sick. So, not only do I have sinusitis, I'm also having a reaction to the amoxicillin, which I've never had before, so, I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna but anyway, we're very warm in here. And uh, Paul, Paul won't mind. He said to open the window if I get up. I'm just going to read. I might watch some TV, but I don't think so. I kind of like I want to. But I also don't. I like I've hardly watched any TikTok lately. I just don't feel up to it. Staring at a screen. Like, looking at a book is a bit different, but staring at a screen, I just can't be bothered. Anyway, I'm going to have a drink and read and I'll see you tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon and while my head's feeling a bit better, it's still not 100% right. I'm still feeling really rough. In fact, I, I phoned work, said I wouldn't be in today. Um, took my antibiotic, had a cup of tea, came back and I went back to sleep till 12 o'clock. So I, you know, and I didn't, you know, I slept fine all night. I didn't have problems sleeping all night, it was great. So I'm sitting here now in a bed. There's, uh, I've got markers because I've been having a colour. I'm feel, like I said, I'm feeling a bit better. I've been up to date in the book journal. So I will show you that in a minute because I have read some books. So let's go to the beginning of March uh, and I'll, I'll show you. So here's March. Here's uh, the books I've added to the TBR this month, not including the library books that I've been reading, which is fine, I'm not worried about that, move that out of the way. And then here are the books I've been reading, I've Time, Bombshell, you'll see all these later on, Mallory Towers, If It Bleeds, Two Doors Down, the Reader. So as you can see, I've read quite a lot this month already. I finished these two yesterday. And I have started A Secret History of Witches by Louisa Morgan. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying uh, the books from the library. I just want to get them read so I can get on to doing uh, a book from this list. I've got Liar Liar by MJ Aldridge out. It's down here on page one. So that'd be nice. So far I've taken nine off of there. It's not a lot, it's 197, but that's nine. Um, I know Paul has got me a box set, well it's a box set, it's not in a box, it's just six books bundled together, the Peter May Cold Case series, um, which I'm really looking forward to because I like Cold Case Mysteries. I've been colouring this, which is Ava Brown, as you can see I haven't done much, and this pattern looks really nice actually. Um, I might try and do some colouring this afternoon. I might just try and doze. It depends how I'm feeling. So I'm watching a bit of YouTube before I go and get Jennifer because once she's home, I won't be able to do anything. But yeah, it's all right. I'm starting to feel a bit better. Okay, I've been to the hairdresser this morning. I've made a cut. And yes, I know he styled it. Oh God, I'm brushing it because I like to. And we're going to go down to Roth Park and have a wander around the lake. It's a beautiful day. It's not too hot. It's not cold. I mean, I just got to try and find a fleece because it's too hot for my coat. Nice. So here we are at Roth Park having the obligatory ice lolly or ice cream in my case. Paul had a fab and ice cream and she's got a Routy's push up. It's white on your nose. It's white on my nose. Probably a bit of ice cream I can't see. Yeah. Shut up you. Alright, as you can see it is a gorgeous day it's at the lake. Now. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> You're a good girl. Look at, that. Look at that blue sky, there's not a cloud up there. Now the park's fairly busy because it is nice, but it's going to probably quieten down in about an hour because the rugby's on. It's not as busy as it could be either, but uh, yeah, there's rugby on today. Nice to get out in the fresh air. Sitting, oh there go my sunglasses, sitting outside the Terra Nova Cafe in Rose Lake waiting for some lunch, Paul's getting it, 
It's Jennifer. I just got to put my glasses up, Jen. Yeah, Paul's getting a lunch. I've bagged us a table overlooking the Scott Memorial, um, which you can see in the reflection behind me just there. And a cookie, apparently, and a cupcake. Go on then, go find Daddy, but be careful. Oh, it's such a lovely day. It's a bit breezy. But do you know what? It is so nice out here. Oh, I can sit here all day. Good job we got no planters today. I'll get a new camera because this one really is falling apart. Let's go and build it. So, once this one goes, there'll be no more weekly vlogs. So, if you want to help, just ask and I'll give you my PayPal. Well, Marilyn fan. Oh, here she comes again. Oh, she's running. Here's Daddy with the drinks. Wee. She's off. It's uh, MarilynFan01 at hotmail.co.uk Hang on. What's the matter? Oh, come on. Well, what do you want? Oh, well, don't drink it then. I'll take it home and I'll drink it. Yummy. No. You got ginger Oh, yeah. Well, she wants a cupcake as well because she's greedy. No. I know. <laughs> Four year olds. Who'd have them, eh? <laughs> Jennifer, stop it. Jennifer, what have you got to eat? Uh, chicken nuggets and cookie and fresh fries and beans. Good girl. Daddy, what have you got? <laughs> cool mouth. It's all mouth, yeah. you got chicken and bacon baguette, haven't you, and some chips. And I've got tuna mayo baguette and chips. <laughs> and it's lovely. Just sit, sitting out here, doing the weekly vlog on <laughs> Saturday. Yep, chicken nuggets. Are they nice nuggets, Jen? Yeah, good. Jennifer's gone up the big slide. This is not going to work. She won't go down it. She won't go down the little one earlier. So I don't know why she's even up there. Come on, Jen. You can do it. Let go. Let me go. Good girl. Yeah, you did it. Oh, Jen. That wasn't Yay! Girl! Is that fun? Somebody's asleep. We're at my mum's and, and she's asleep. Back home now, I'm shattered myself. Jennifer is literally out. She's asleep on the sofa. So, Paul's downstairs with her. I'm going to have a little rest up here, take my antibiotics. I wasn't read, but I left my book downstairs. I suppose I could get a different one. I think I might just have a doze instead. I'll probably do some TikTok later. And, uh, you know, maybe. I will, I think. But, um, yeah, I'm a bit tired. So, I'm going to get changed and I'm going to have a rest. It was fun, except for when Jennifer kicked off at the end because uh, she didn't want to come home. She had five goes on that slide and then she didn't want to come home. I'm jumping in a cola, I'm thirsty. So yeah. Diet Coke. Not a sponsored video, but I could. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> it's just a bit fun. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a doze. I'm gonna put some stars in my book if I can find it because I ordered some more because I couldn't find the last 1000 in fact that feels thinner than the last packet yeah it's still a thousand maybe it's a taller wider packet I don't know probably anyway they're in the other room somewhere yeah I'll see you afterwards might have some dinner outside tonight if it stays nice and warm it's lovely out there at the moment I must admit it's been a beautiful day Hope you enjoyed coming to Roth with us. We'll be going again. Might even go up one of the boats when Jennifer's a bit older. <sighs> yeah, anyway, time for a little rest before whatever else happens, happens. I'll admit I've ordered some Marilyn stuff, but don't tell Paul. Well, he knows I've ordered a t-shirt. That's fine. But I've also ordered a book. It's only a poetry book, so it's not a big one. But I've also ordered a seven year rich figurine from eBay. Well, it was £18 and then the guy offered me it for 15 so 
I took it. It's really nice. So I used to buy lots of stuff like that. And I haven't bought anything like that for ages. Just having somewhere to put it, you see. But I'm slowly thinking I'm going to start getting my collection out a bit at a time. So I can show you. My hair looks right there, so I'll have to brush it in a minute. Anyway, I'll see you in a few hours once I get up, which will probably be about an hour. It's probably not even going to be that, because as soon as Jennifer wakes up, I'll be downstairs. See you in a bit. I don't know. It's Sunday. We're about to go shopping. She's screaming. I don't know why. She probably don't want to get dressed. She did sleep and showed you she was asleep yesterday, and that was like from like around 3-ish till 5 a.m. this morning. She woke up briefly when I put her to bed, looked at me and went back to sleep. So she must have been very tired, so that's good. She had a good night's sleep. It's beautiful out again today. Plan to get this done and then maybe sit in the garden for a bit. So, yeah, I've just uh, stuck a few more pictures in my book. Two more. Um, I have, I've written one out for the stars in because Jen wants to do it, so I said she could help. Um, which means they could be anywhere on the page. And I've just got to write a bit better ahead of time. And I'm now reading... <sighs> I'm on chapter nine, it's fine, I know. Eeny Meeny, oh, no, from the author of Eeny Meeny, MJ Orr's Liar Liar, this is actually book four. Eeny Meeny was book one. Um, I haven't got two or three, but I'll just read this one anyway, it doesn't make any difference. So far this month I've read two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14 books, which is good. I need 16 a month ugh, tip target, so I'm gonna be way over that. I'm gonna find out what's going on, and I'll see you in a bit. Hey, we have finished shopping. I feel really, really tired. Uh, I'm just sorting some stuff out. I'm coming back in here tonight. I'm just moving some stuff around so it's all tidy. I'm trying to tidy up a bit. Oh, so I have some of this uh, photography stuff. I might as well get it listed. I've got one to post, so I'll sort that out later and check my drop and go and all that stuff. <sighs> Has he put the heating on in here? Because I'll kill him if he has. I don't like the heating on in the rooms I'm in. I, I get too hot. Um, yeah, I'm just having a bit of a tidy up. I was naughty, bought some more books. In Liddles. And some colouring pencils and pens. I must stop, though. Alright, Sad. Sad's wandering around thinking, what's going on now? It's supposed to be boiling here, put the fan on for a minute while I just uh, sort my stuff out. i start bringing it back in. Oh, I was just getting messy in there, so I need to move stuff from in there to in here so I can put it away. I see pens. Oh, please help. Oh, there's a sock there. I'm very tired, so I'm sorting out the washing as well at the same time. There's always a ton of washing to do, so I'll take that down. Zed, stop chewing on whatever that is. Looks like my headset. I'm going to have to go and get the cat. Oh, sorted some stuff out. Got some more washing to put on. Another load. I'll probably do that tomorrow because I've got loads to dry and I've obviously got bath gen for tonight. I'm going to do some TikToks. That's one of the reasons I've come back in here because my lamp's in here and I've got somewhere to put it. I don't really have anywhere else to put it in the other room. There's nowhere that will hold the thing as well as this one. And if you think, oh, have you been crying? I've just been here, so I was just thinking about something. I had a lovely dream earlier, though. Ooh. Well, I had a lovely couple of dreams. There's one where there's a big exhibition of Marilyn things, collections, things you could buy and win as well. That has to do with one of the reasons I'm feeling a bit down. Not the dream itself, the dream was fantastic. And the other one, it was very, very weird. It was sort of like London and New York all mixed together. And I can't remember, they were, they were singing. They were, it was a musical. And I was doing something with somebody and trying to get to stay in America. And I had to have somebody vouch for me. And this person I helped vouched for me. Because uh, what I the way I helped him stop him from going to prison or something, and then we were trying to escape from some bad guys through some tunnels, and then Mickey Cosmeyer appeared, and you'll only know who that is if you ever watched the original Equalizer. In my opinion, there is only one Equalizer, and that's the original, and that's because of Edward Wood 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 Wood
Oh, did I have a thing for him when I was a kid? I still got a thing for him now. I think he's the one person I've crushed on my entire life. Um, so I'm, I'm feeling a bit down because people I know are booking to go to LA in August. It's something I've never been able to afford to do and I still can't and I'm just gonna have to face it. I probably never will. And, and I have to go to the uh, Marin Monroe Memorial uh, uh, Westwood on the 5th of August. It's something I've wanted to do since I found out about it back when I first became a fan back in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. Red spot on there, on my face. And I've just never been able to afford it. I was lucky left, and I'll admit I was lucky to go to New York. And I have been to LA, and I've been to a grave, but I've never been for a memorial. And I, I did have a quick look. I obviously can't afford it this year, just to get an idea of how much it might cost. Um, and I, it's gonna cost for five nights, and most people go for a fortnight, for five nights of one person well per person and this is if you know this is on a sense of two people sharing a room which you, I'd have to find someone to share with around eleven hundred pound and yeah I've got eleven hundred pound but I haven't got the money to go with it to spend so it's like it's a couple of years off yet but no yeah if I stop buying things I might be able to save up for it you never know and if not, I'll have some money put by for other things. I mean, obviously, I mean, I had my bonus this year, and what did I do? I was sensible. I put £100 away for the car, put 100 in my savings account, and I had 100 to spend on myself, which I sort of did and didn't. I bought some stuff for Jennifer, as I do. I bought a few coloring books and some pens, and that's okay, because you can't not do anything. Um, what I might try and do is just start saving a few quid every month, like I do. I mean, I save my change. I know there's over £1,100 in there, but it's a lot of money for a holiday, you know. I'd love it, but it is a lot of money. But anyway, I'm going to go and do something extremely horrible, which is clean out the litter tray before washing up my hands and everything, getting clean and doing tea, because it's getting on, and we've got bath Jennifer tonight. So i come up here for my inhaler because it's a bit wheezy. I'm going to go do that now. And I might get my laptop out in a bit. I've got so many books here. I've got to... I've read so many books. It's unreal. I must admit, I did get some more books. That I got one from my mum, three from Lidl's because they've got them on for Mother's Day. And then I've got this Marilyn one, which is called uh, Beauty Mark, a verse novel of Marilyn Monroe by carol boston weatherford so it's a it's a novel but it's sort of poetry i guess i haven't really read it i've had a quick look i don't i don't know i'd have to have a look at it to see uh, what it's like but uh, obviously it's something a bit different so i thought i'd get that and give it a try because i am um, I can't go to LA to see her grave again. I'll do that instead. Anywho, I am going to go and oh, I'm tired. Sort out the litter tray, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, it's Sunday night. It's getting late. I have work tomorrow. I'll be alright when I'm doing it. It's just the thought of it. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed in a minute. I have done a TikTok for each channel. Um, how I bother though? I'm just having one of those days when I don't feel very good about myself. I think we all have them. And tomorrow I'll right, well, be completely different. And that's fine. So I'm not worrying. Uh, I'm going to yawn. Anyway. That's it for this week, such as it was. I was ill most of the week. I'm still not 100%, but I feel much, much better. So it's back to work tomorrow. I'm trying to, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was gonna say. I wanna edit this together and I'm gonna chill out and uh, do a bit of coloring in bed. And then I'm gonna read some of this. So I've started this, but I'm not very far through it, as you can see. So I'm gonna to read a bit more. Write my diary, take my medication and go to sleep. How awake. New laptop, I've got to use it properly tomorrow. I haven't used it yet. I need to go up in the attic to find some folders. Um, I've got some Marilyn folders and I want 
They're A4 ones. And I want a, an A4 folder for my um, Maryland Today newsletters. I meant to do it this weekend. I forgot. So tomorrow I might put some makeup on and do some proper TikTok. You never know. <laughs> put some face on TikTok. I want to do on the Marilyn one um, some let's talk about. So let's talk about Joe Smash Let's talk about Eunice Murray. Let's talk about her various leading men and women. Uh, you know, her co-stars. Let's talk about Robert Slater. Let's talk about Jeannie Carmen. Um, because they'd be quite informative. Things like that. We back in this room tonight because I miss my stuff. Jennifer will want to come and sleep with me tonight, guaranteed. But she ain't gonna. Tonight, I just want to be on my own. Yes. That's it. I'll see you tomorrow.